performance. And at the end of the week, Apollo sits atop the tables with three player of the... Another team and another dominant season for Rainover. This time without Huni. Kai with the solo kill out at FlyQuest with another win. Off the backs of Ryu and Arrow, an amazing early season for Phoenix One. Looper with another huge game pushes Echo Fox into the playoffs. This move is really working out for Team Dignitas. Someday, it's looking better than ever. Thanks, Riv. I'm here with Poe Belter after leading his team to their first ever LCS Finals. For Darshan, the hard work pays off. CLG back on top of the North American LCS once again. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 Spring Champions here in Vancouver. Ladies and gentlemen, to day one of the 2017 North American League Championship Series. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all to our newly revamped battle arena that'll play home to a year's worth of League of Legends action. But without further ado, as we gear up for another season of League Action, I'm gonna ask you to join me in welcoming our defending champions, TSM! <laughs> I'm chasing bro. I'm looking, I'm looking for him. A double already from Bjergsen into the back line. They're killing everybody. TSM cement themselves as the most dominant organization in North American League of Legends and win their fourth North American Championship. Gentlemen, if you would do the honor in helping us commemorate your fourth NALCS title. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give it up for your defending NALCS champions, TSM! All right, well, as TSM prepares to face off against Cloud9, let's send it over to the analyst to look at a few changes hitting the rift this year in the NALCS. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you, Dash. I am Joshua Jett Leesman and Isaac Azale Cummings Bentley is nothing pretty hype intro. I know, man. I'm so excited standing here. Another year of NALCS. Yeah, TSM C9 will be happening in just a few minutes, but a lot also happened during the offseason, setting the stage for yet another exciting year here in the North American LCS. Some highlights here. Eight teams are returning from last split, and then we have two new teams. So we're welcoming back Team Dignitas, and also we're introducing FlyQuest. FlyQuest, new name, a lot of familiar faces. The core of the old Cloud9 guys all returning. Yeah, and there's also some LCS veterans that played last year that are just kind of moving to new teams. Look at all these changes right here. Biggest profile acquisition, probably Rainover going to Team Liquid after being so dominant on Immortals. Rainover was massive, but you cannot overlook Double Lift stepping down. Wild Turtle, big shoes to fill this year. He's going to have to prove himself tonight. Yeah, every single one of those is going to be exciting. Also, there's a lot of imports that came in from a specific country, maybe Korea, I think, <laughs> is the one. All these new players They're to the right LCS. A lot of really big names. Someday really stands out to me as a guy who was a former MVP in Korea, now in North America. Yeah, someday one of the best for a couple years running. Looper, former world champion, a lot of big names here. I'm so excited to see how they're going to perform in North America. Yeah, pretty good. And these sterling veterans are also going to be going up against the few rookies that we have in the split right here. Acadian, Cody Sun, and Contracts. It's always great to see more North American talent, but Contracts is the guy I'm very excited to see. Reminds me a lot of the hype that was around Dardock when he came into the league. Yeah, let's see if they can live up to what Dardock did last split. There's also much to talk about at the start of the season. We'll be diving more into the teams and the players as the weekend and season progresses. Right now, though, I want to talk a quick second, focus on one of the most impactful changes to the game, 
which is the 10 bands. Yeah, I mean, the 10 band system is absolutely massive. One of the biggest things, there's a lot more meaningful choices. Having a larger champion pool is gonna be more heavily rewarded as well because there is the fact that you can pitch certain roles and having those extra champions under your pocket is gonna be helpful. Yeah, specifically in the second phase of bands there where both teams get two extra bands, it kind of gives you the ability to favor a specific role on your team by banning out counters or really target an opponent's main champions in that second ban phase. Yeah, exactly. We've seen it in LCK, we've seen it in EU LCS, LPL, so I'm very excited to see the NA LCS's take on the 10-man system. Awesome stuff. So let's take a look at who's getting the first shot in the new pick and bans. We already saw TSM get introduced on stage. Our first match of the night has the defending champs there going up against Cloud9. But after that, I'm also very excited about the second match, to be completely honest. Echo Fox versus Phoenix One. A lot of new players in that game. Yeah, I mean, TSM C9 is hype, but the Phoenix One roster is revamped. They look very strong, and I'm really excited to see how Looper is going to do for Echo Fox. Yeah, I'm very excited for the North American LCS. Not trying to be fake, I'm just really genuinely excited. But as we prepare for our first match, let's send it over to our casters in the battle arena. 